Who can blame me? Many, no doubt. And I shall be called discontented. Could not help it. The restlessness was in my nature. It agonized me to pain sometimes. Charlotte Bronte from Jane Eyre. According to this quote, I believe Jane Eyre is my kindred spirit. This contentment creeps up on me so silently that I do not realize it until the damage is done. There have been different seasons in my life where I have been more discontented than others. Some seasons of my life I just want to skip ahead. Like when I first started dating, I wanted to skip ahead and get married, even though I had not necessarily found the right person yet or just different walks in my life that I don't want to live through to get to what I think is going to be better. It's like that restlessness that Charlotte Bronte was talking about, that restlessness in your soul where you just don't want to live in a certain moment. You want to skip ahead to something better or you're struggling in a journey and you want to skip ahead to get rid of that struggle. Sometimes I seem to think that I can rush through a certain part of my life and it will go by quicker. And it doesn't. It just doesn't. I've had more discontentment in these past two years than I've had through my whole entire life. I want to share with you today what I have learned in finding contentment in your journey. Sometimes God uses an undesirable season to teach us lessons. Life lessons that we will need in the future. At first, I thought the past two years God was trying to teach me patience. But the Lord had other plans. I have learned more about faith in God this year and last year more than I have ever learned in my entire life. Faith is having confidence in God that he is going to do something. Faith is grabbing hold of that Bible promise that he gives you and clinging to it and saying, God is going to bring me through this or God is going to do and keep his promise that is in this verse. Faith can be hard to grow, but you know, all you need is a mustard seed sized faith. I have had the goal of exercising this faith this year, reading my Bible and praying just those small prayers that I know he will answer to build my faith. I am going to live slowly and enjoy every moment of my life, resting in the fact that God is going to take care of it all. Does this mean to stop working towards my goals? No, it does not. However, it does mean that I need to get rid of the discontentment and allow God to fix it. I hope I have encouraged everyone else going through a hard time. The Lord has laid it on my heart to share. I want to break the habit of discontentment. In reality, no one wants to be around a discontented person. My New Year's resolution was to live in the moment, and I believe I can do this with the Lord's help this year. Hebrews 11, 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I hope y'all have enjoyed this video today. If you have liked it and want to see more of how I am working on growing my faith, please comment below and I will make another video of how I have intentionally worked on and grow and growing my faith. Having faith in God that at the end of the day, he is going to take care of me and he is going to fix it and he is going to hold my hand and walk me through life has helped me with discontentment. Um, if you've liked this video, please subscribe and leave a thumbs up. You can also find me on Instagram. I do post a little bit more over there. I hope y'all have a great weekend.